With the sixth pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic select Mohamed Bamba from the University of Texas. Mo Bamba, the native of Harlem, will have the longest wingspan in the NBA next year at 7 feet and 10, 10 inches. He's been working with workout guru Drew Hanlon to try to improve his perimeter shot. A very astute guy. Talked about noticing how some bigs weren't on the floor at the end of playoff games. He wants to be able to do that. And Mo Bamba, a, a defensive presence for sure right out of the gate. Did you just reference his 7'9 wingspan? 7'10". Yeah. <laughs> Stay in your lane, Reese Davis. That is my territory. <laughs> have you, have I get you credited in Vegas that? for that wingspan. Have you copyrighted he, that term? He's He's got two NBA skills right now that translate immediately. He's a big-time shot blocker, and he's an excellent rebounder that's got great length. Really, what, what you could compare him to is a young Rudy Gobert with better offense than Gobert had when he came into the NBA. He gets 14 rebounds per 40 minutes, 3.2 offensive rebounds. He blocks about four shots per game. Uh, he's really getting better on the offensive end. He doesn't have much of a post game. He plays a little bit too straight up and down, and he can be moved off the block because he's not as strong lower base-wise as he needs to be. But his coach, Shaka Smart, did a great thing with him in practice. They would would do a great job of pick and pop. So he did a lot of that in practice where he would shoot the ball, and he really does run extraordinarily well. He's an excellent athlete. Uh, he, his frame doesn't look all that strong, but he has worked on his strength, and he will continue to get strong, hey, hey. Uh, stronger, and he's retooled that shot. But with his length and athleticism, he's going to be really Jay, good. Jay, did you just say stay in your lane? Yes. You just told my guy, Reese, to stay in his lane, and then you told everybody who I was going to pick as his coach. <laughs> <laughs> Rudy Gobert, I love this guy. I see Mo Bamba, just like I see Rudy Gobert, but like you said, a better offensive skill set. I'm very, very happy for this kid. Ultra, uber smart, and I think Coach Clifford is going to have a good time coaching him. I like Chauncey, tag team partner on Billis. And Mo Bamba blocked a lot of shots. No suit for you, you or you. Nearly four per game. That was second in the nation. His seven foot ten. I try to let you say Wingspan. It. Wingspan. Wingspan. <laughs> the longest ever recorded at the Combine. Some other notable NBA player. Well, you keep us your cue. Wingspans. You see them, but not <laughs> quite as long as Minute Bowl, who some say did the most amazing thing in NBA history with the way that Eight, he six. put around a block shot. For some reason, there's a giant eagle landing on Mo's head, which I guess is a little bit about the same as Mo's wingspan. Maria Taylor tried to show off her wingspan on college game day this year, but it was <laughs> nothing compared to Mo Bamba's. Absolutely nothing. And Mo did love the, the cartoon, by the way. Uh, <laughs> let's talk through being the hometown guy. The first draft you ever watched was Kyrie Irving, the Jersey guy coming through, and now it's you, the guy from Harlem. What does it mean? It means the world to me to come back to the city and be drafted right where I started everything. It's just so real. I mean, words can't describe how I feel right now. What has the Orlando Magic organization told you about the role they would like for you to play on their team? They want me to contribute right away. They want me to contribute right away. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm super fortunate to be heading down there. I'm super happy, and I just can't wait to get down there. All right, give me your wingspan one good time while you stand up. Show it to him. Go ahead. You got it. He has to loosen up. There it is. And of course, Woj we'll, we'll tipped us off there that, that who, uh, they're going to take Mo Bamba, who also we had on the jump, who was charming. And yeah, he's in fact great. rising to meet Adam Silver up. as we speak. I'm speaking, by the way, as someone who every time I go do uh, like an interview and I talk about, you know, back when you were drafted and we mm -hmm. roll the footage mm -hmm. of the funny video from 10 years ago in the suit that no longer is in style, yeah. they're going to have the wrong hat on. That's yeah. what I'm concerned about. I do want to talk about Mo Bamba, though. Um, Orlando taking him. As I said, he is just, I, I don't. Has there been anyone who's sort of shot up within the top 10 the way he has in the last couple months? Well, he's been there. He has been there, really, because he came to college as one of the top three or four players in the country. And But what he has, Rachel, is this incredibly unique length. I mean, we're talking 7'10". This is the wingspan. The longest ever. Longest, longest wingspan ever. ever. Yeah. But I feel like he's, I mean, again, this is where you guys are my experts here. Yeah, gotcha. It feels like just from sort of nominally watching that he, what he's added with his shot in the past. Well, we'll see. What, six well, to eight I, weeks? Or I got a chance to watch him with Drew Hanlon. Right. Yeah. 
been working out. He right. looks incredible. I mean, he's always been able to shoot that. He didn't mm. he didn't do it as much when he was at Texas. Right. I was talking to Shaka Smart about this too. Like he has the ability to do that. Mm -hmm. He's been knocking it down consistently. Like he's one of the most intriguing prospects to me in this entire draft. I I'm you know, fascinated by one, him. One he, question. He ran that three fourth sprint. Like yeah. almost like in the but one five, one question mark. And, and, it, and it really translates into a second one. I watched him about ten different times in the Big Twelve energy motor mm -hmm. it ran to a six or seven and then you wonder because he's so bright is he a kid that's love does he really love the game if he loves the game and he's willing to be coached in Orlando well, by a I'm good say, coach. I'll just so I, I'm not, you can have three yeah. guys sitting in the pink. Oh, I know, I know, but, there, I, I, but I you, can run, you can run the floor hard that. every time like Jaron Jackson. Well, as, but, you know, the other thing I'll talk about is, you know, we talked about earlier tonight about the versatility and what's sure. the modern. To me, big guys are important because the three-point line is a three-point line, and it's hard for one guy to guard the entire three-point line. But sooner or later, they're going to try and get to that rim. Yep. And when you have a guy at the, at the rim as a rim protector mm -hmm. like him, that's important. The other thing is he doesn't, almost <laughs> he doesn't need to be Scottie Pippen defensively on the perimeter. Right. He just needs to be able to hold his own for a couple of beats on a switch or on a hard show or whatever. And I think he's got the skills to do that.